Hey there, today is day 36. I know, day 36 of the Draw the Circle Prayer Challenge. And uh, tonight's conversation was all about senior partner. And it's taken out of Matthew 6 and 20, where it talks about storing up your treasures in heaven. And so um, it's talked about someone who had um, was starting a company and they started with $37. That company grew and he wanted to follow God's plan for his life. And so he transferred 51% of his business legally over to God, 49% to his partner, and then he became an employee of that company. And over time, he was able to give away hundreds of millions of dollars. Most often, we can agree that it's not likely he would have given that had he still been in that ownership position. And so for us, we're, we need to make sure we're maintaining our heart and our understanding of being stewards over what God's given us and being able to give back to him um, what he has given us. And so um, it also talked about uh, God's shovel. It said, God's shovel is always bigger than ours. And the translation for that is, we can't outgive God. And so Jayla brought up um, a time management model that you'll see often when you have a container and you start trying to build, put things in, in the container. And if you fill it up with sand, it gets to its level top and then you have no uh, space to put in the big rocks. Um, but her analogy was talking about putting those big rocks and that being God and not just God, but the purpose God has for you, that you put those things first. What if uh, the uh, co conversation tonight and that business owner, if he had placed his value in his business over the value what God had for him, that sand, he would have filled up his life with the sand and not had enough place in his life for the rocks, for the purpose God had for his life and the lives that he was in, in, able to impact based on um, what he was able to give because he put it in God's hand. And so that's a reminder to us. There's so many of, of you out there that are gifted and talented. And when we're given our gifts and we're given our treasures back to God, he passed this exponential gift and what he adds on to it uh, can be greater than what we would do if we were working and operating out of our own power. So we're putting God in as our big rock first. He also made a statement about we're serving the same God that Abraham served. We're serving the same God that Moses served. And so there's times when we make things historical facts and we leave it in that space, not recognizing that if we have the relationship, the connection, we honor God with our choices in the same way that Abraham and Moses did. He's the same God. And so Jayla reminded us of the song that uh, by Ty Turbert, same God back then. If he did it for you before, he'll do it again. Same God. So I want to encourage you that as you're considering what God has called you to put his plan above your own. I look forward to connecting with you on tomorrow, day 37 uh, of our Draw the Circle prayer challenge. And I'll be Checking in with you from Colorado. I'm, I'm traveling on tomorrow, so it'll be a different background, but coming to you with the same heart. I look forward to connecting with you.